Hi everyone, hopefully okay. So today I have my April favourites for you and I literally could not believe that I'm already doing my April favourites. Like, it's May. Like, really, really soon. Like, what the actual. So yeah, apart from being completely shocked that May is here already and we're almost halfway through 2015, like, time just needs to slow the F down because I just cannot cope with it. I'm in a weird mood today. I've literally just filmed my spring haul and it was the weirdest haul I think I've ever filmed because I just don't seem to be myself today. I don't know what's wrong with me, but um, probably not the best day to film, but hey ho. So yeah, I haven't actually got that much to talk about because to be fair, a lot of the products that I am liking and using are a lot of the products I've been using for the past few months. So there's not really too many new additions. We're going to get onto it because I've probably already spoke for about 17 hours. And um, first of all is a rediscovery and it's Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. Recently my skin has been a bit all over the place. I think it's the change in weather. It's been a bit dry, dehydrated. It's been breaking out. It's been oily. It's been kind of like all this stuff at the same time. Um, but the main thing is it has been looking a bit dry and dull and I've been using my regular kind of foundations and I was just finding they were sitting on top of my skin. They weren't really doing much for my face and I was like something needs to change here. Um, so I went through my foundation collection and I found this bourgeois one and I thought you know what we're going to give this a go and I mixed it in with some highlighter. I literally just mix it in with whatever liquid highlighter I can find first. It's not really a a specific one and I have my face just looked a million times better it looked glowy it looked radiant it looked flawless it was exactly the kind of look that I had been after and it had been sitting in my makeup drawer the whole time and I was like you're such a donut curry why didn't you think of this earlier but yeah I have been absolutely loving it and ever since I've just been using this I just can't stop using it basically and yeah I really really like it it really just adds a really nice glow and just perks up my face and makes it look a lot more nice and radiant which is definitely what you want when you're feeling a bit drab and fatigued this is just perfect so yeah I've been absolutely loving this and I have got the shade 55 which is dark beige and um, I probably should pick up a paler shade for like when I've not got a fake tan on but yeah really really like this absolutely lani and um, next are two concealers and these are the amazing cosmetics amazing concealer and you can get these from marks and spencers um marks and spencers possibly feel unique as well and i got sent these because i've heard a lot about these i've heard they're a really good high coverage concealer and i'm always looking for high coverage concealers what i like to do is i prefer to wear a lower coverage foundation and then a high coverage concealer because i think it makes your face look more flawless um, so yeah, I've been trying these out and I have to say I'm really, really impressed. They are definitely are high coverage. They cover everything up that you don't want out, <laughs> like spots, blemishes, marks, dark circles. And I just, I think they're great. A little goes a long way. I have been, sometimes I'll put on like what I think is a normal amount of concealer and I'll be like, this is too much and it will go a little bit cakey. So you literally only need the tiniest amount, but it just kind of, melts into the skin and blends really really well and it's just really high coverage it blends in really well and it lasts all day too so i'm really really impressed this is probably a it's very similar to the estee lauder maximum cover foundation which i used to use as concealer like back in the day and that is like the most highest coverage uh foundation concealer i've ever used and i used to absolutely love it but then you can hardly kind of find it anymore so yeah, this is a really, really good high coverage concealer. If you're looking for one that's going to cover spots, acne scars, this will be good. Um, hasn't broke me out, which is good. It's got quite a strong smell to it. You kind of know, you know, like almost um, kind of stage makeup, makeup smell. It smells a bit like that. But yeah, I really like it. It's a tiny, tiny tube, but like I said, a little goes a long way. So it probably will last you quite a long time. Next up is another concealer and this is from Rimmel and I think I've spoke about this in a couple of my videos and this is the Last and Finish Concealer and I absolutely love this for using underneath the eyes but also for highlighting too because I've been looking for a good highlighting cream to use when I'm contouring and I just hadn't been able to find one until now and um, this is the colour Porcelain which I think is the palest one and it's absolutely incredible for putting on those dark circles because it just lightens up and covers up the whole area. I put it down my nose when I'm contouring, if I'm contouring my cheeks I put it like on the cheekbones. It's just a really really nice product, it's quite thick so again a little goes a long way but it doesn't go cakey, it's really nice to blend in and yeah I just really really like this. I think this is great for a drugstore concealer 
and I love the fact that obviously I can use it for contouring as well as concealing too because I love a two in one. Next up is a primer I want to talk about and in fact I've mentioned this in quite a few of my videos but I've not done a mention of it in a favourites video and that is the Gosh Prime and Set and this is the Primer and Mattifying Setting Powder. This is the best thing I have ever used for oily skin and that is high praise and I've got something in my eye go away um that is high praise indeed but it's true like when i saw the raving reviews and videos about this product i was like it's it can't be that good like surely but blow me down with a feather it's amazing because this is the time of year when my skin is the most oily there's some kind of weird change in the weather and my skin just goes bloop, crazy overdrive into oil so I need something that is going to keep the oil at bay because I don't really like looking all oily and greasy and I don't want to be powdering every 5 minutes because it makes your face look really really cakey. So this is like, it's a bit weird because it's a powder, so it's a bit weird putting on a powder as a primer but it totally works, it totally just kind of goes into your skin, put your foundation over the top and you wouldn't know any other difference and sometimes if I'm feeling it especially oily I will put a little bit on my foundation to set it but usually I don't even need to set my foundation because because this underneath the foundation does enough work and it just it just keeps oil at bay all day it's so nice if you've got oily skin you'll know how i feel you feel a bit self-conscious and you will get to a part of the day and you'll think is my skin oily do i look really greasy do i look really sweaty right now and you'll kind of like quickly kind of reach for your powder or if you have that awful thing that you forgot on your powder and you're like oh what do i do and you do that thing of getting a tissue paper like because you think can this dab the oil you don't have to worry about that like i have worn this um i've put this on in the morning gone to london gone to meetings gone to events come home i and then i still don't need to powder like it's just amazing i can't even tell you how much i love this it doesn't break me out i haven't noticed any difference in breakouts or spots since i've been using this so that's a really good sign too and yeah I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see, excited how sad that, um, I'm interested to see how good this is going to perform in the summer, if it's going to cope with summer heat, will it keep my makeup lasting long, because obviously that will be a good test for like when I go to New York and stuff, because it's going to be really hot then, but yeah, this is seriously good, it's 9 99 I would definitely go and invest in it if you've got oily skin, because I've tried so many things in the past, probably five to six years, to try and kind of keep my skin at bay, and trying to keep oil at bay and this is the best thing I've ever used it's the, one of the only things that has actually worked for me so five stars to the gosh prime and set primer amazing next up is another rediscovery and this is the benefit what's up highlighter again I've spoken about this in a couple of my previous videos and I won't go on about it too much I promise it's just a really lovely highlighter it's just perfect at giving you that dewy kind of glow um, you know, when we all went a bit mad for like Millie Macintosh and being Chelsea, that's the kind of look that we're going for and this is what this product gives you. It's just a really, really lovely product and I literally cannot get enough of it. Perfect for this time of year and it's also good if your skin's a bit dry and drab like mine has been because it adds a bit of moisture and I think cream products work really, really well. So yeah, really, really love this cannot get enough and I'm kind of just annoyed at myself that I let it sit in my drawer for so long. My final favourite is this lip uh, colour which is from Kiko and it's the colour 01 and it's from their Free Spirit Lips and Cheeks collection. But basically this is just the perfect peachy colour, I use it as a blush, I use it as a lipstick, I'll put it on now. It's quite chalky, it reminds me very much of Koi from the Topshop makeup line ages ago that we all went a bit crazy for but I absolutely love this. It's the perfect peachy colour and I'm so into peachy colours right now because it's spring. So yeah, really really like this and it's not too expensive either and it also, it comes with its own pencil sharpener which I think is really really cool because the amount of times that I have bought a product that needs sharpening and I haven't got the right pencil sharpener size and you're like, ugh. This has its own pencil sharpener, so you don't have to worry about that at all, which I think is amazing. But I cannot stop wearing this. I think it's just the perfect colour for spring slash summer. And yeah, I'm just going to be wearing it all the time. Ugh, love it. I wanted to make a mention of two favourite YouTubers this month, because I do like doing a favourite YouTuber slash blogger of the month. I've got two that I want to mention this month because it's been two girls that I literally cannot get enough of and I can't stop watching their videos. And the first one is Meg from Meg Says and Meg is just a, oh, 
she's just a darling basically i absolutely love her videos she's got a really nice relaxing voice i love watching people who have relaxing voices i don't know what it is but i like to be relaxed when i'm watching youtube and i love a good soothing voice they may sound a bit weird and creepy but it's true but yeah, Meg is so, so lovely. She's really, really funny. She's got a great sense of humour. And she just seems like a really nice, genuine girl. And I love her videos. She's got a really nice, pretty background. She's always got like a cup of tea. And I just love hearing stories about her and her grandma, Queen Jean, as she calls her, um, watching Pretty Little Liars together. And I just, I don't know, I love her videos. I love coming across people who are really, really genuine and just lovely and yeah really really like her videos so go check her out because i'm sure you will all love her and all her videos are quite long as well which i love i love watching long videos because i can really just kind of sit back and relax so yeah definitely go check her out she is really really lovely and yeah love her my second youtuber i want to mention is sophie from it's sophie bell sophie is so so cute she reminds me of belle from beauty and the bee she's like a little disney princess and she's really girly like i am she has lovely kind of backdrops and her videos are really lovely made and she does this series of like every single month she talks about things that make her happy and i thought this was a really really cute idea because very often we kind of forget about the little things that make us happy and like it's just a really really cute video and i really enjoy watching them at the end of each month to see what things have kind of made her month and they always kind of make me smile but she's really really cute and yeah i just love her video again a really lovely genuine girl so yeah definitely go check both of them out i definitely want to be both of their friends <laughs> i'm just kind of putting that out there that i i would love to like do you know when you watch someone on youtube and you think i'd like to be their friend that's the kind of feeling i get off those two girls and i've not felt like that for quite some time with some youtubers because sometimes i watch youtubers and i'm kind of so much in awe of them that um i kind of feel that like what is going on with my hair right now jesus i kind of feel that like if i met them i'd almost be a bit like oh i don't know what to say right now um but i kind of just feel i love it when you kind of watch people who you feel like you could be friends with and you could approach them and like have a chat if that makes sense go with it so yeah that was my april favorites i can't believe we're into may but yeah thanks for watching i hope you you lot all had a good april and i will see you very soon in my next video